Welcome to Ram Live. Join our product marketing manager, Rick Phillips, as he showcases the latest and greatest that Ram Mounts and GDS Tech have to offer. Now let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome to Ram Live. Today we're going to be talking about the Ram Multipad Notepad Holder and Accessory Holder Document Clip. We're going to talk about all the features and benefits of this simplistic but feature-rich design and how it's used in various Ram mounting components. We're going to be answering your questions in the YouTube live stream, so make sure you post your comments and questions in there and we'll be addressing those a little bit later in this video. Or if you're watching the replay of this, make sure you leave your comments as well. We will be following up with you. Make sure to hit like, subscribe, and make sure you sign up for the notifications so that uh, you are notified of future videos that we post. We'll be posting many videos like these, doing a deep dive into many different RAM mount product lines. Most importantly, answering all of your questions and getting you the information that you need. So with that aside, let's get right into it. Today we're looking at the RAM Multipad. This is simply just a notepad holder and document clip just to serve as a heavy duty and convenient writing surface for the various uh, vehicles and applications that you may be in, environments where you just need quick access to a writing surface to jot down whatever uh, notes are needed. And so we'll cover a few of these uh, features here. It's made of a durable high strength composite and just like all other RAM holders, if you're familiar with the RAM mounts product line, we integrate the industry standard four hole amps hole pattern on the back. So it's compatible with all types of RAM mounting components. And so what we recommend for this are B size, that's the one inch ball. It's the same size ball that we recommend for any common handheld electronics like a phone, small tablet, GPS, camera, cup holder, uh, those kinds of devices, the RAM multipad fits right into that uh, category of devices. And that's really what's great about the multipad is that it's part of a whole ecosystem of modular components, so you can really mount this anywhere. It can go onto a windshield, it can go onto a rail, drill down, flat surface, uh, magnetic options. So hundreds of different components to choose from. Um, in our description for this video, there is a link to our components page that takes you to all of the B-size components. And also uh, there are links to the part numbers for the ball adapters that go on these. So there is the one on the back that I referenced here, the four hole amps hole pattern, and I'll show it right here as well. But also at the top, there is a two hole amps hole pattern, and that's for connecting another, another type of a ball adapter. So there are two different connection points that serve as different ways of angling and positioning the multi-pad, depending on where you have it, having it uh, mounted for you. And so in this example, a couple show a few more features here. In fact, I'll take this off of the double ball mount. Here we have the ball on the back. This is the part number RAM B202U. There's a link for that in the description. And up top we have our diamond plate. This is part number RAM B238U. Link for that in the description as well. So a couple cool unique features with the RAM multipad. First and foremost is the fact that there's a little pocket inside of the multipad that will receive up to a four inch wide notepad cover. So you drop the cover inside and it secures in place. So I just took it out, but I'll just put it back in here. It puts pressure on it, so it holds it in nice and firm. And that's one way of securing a small notepad onto the, onto the RAM multipad. And then the other option is using the clip option right here. Clip option may be uh, preferred for just a single document or for a larger uh, piece of paper, where even if it is larger, you still have plenty of room for serving as a nice writing surface if you want that on there. And that's really one thing that I really like about the multi-pad is that it has all these features, but it's also really compact. So there's another writing surface product line that RAM offers. We won't go into too much detail because this has a lot more features to it, but it's much larger too. This is the RAM Handy Case. So this serves as a much larger hard writing surface. It has built-in storage compartments, many more mounting hole patterns, different ways of attaching different accessories. So it's a very great feature-rich document holder, but in most cases, all you really need is something nice and compact, and that's what, really what I like about the multi-pad. And another great thing about this is that the because it's intended to be mounted in upright positions or at an angle, it may be up high, and so it may be inconvenient for where you locate, you know, your pen or pencil to use for writing on it. And so the RAM multipad integrates these internal magnets. As you can see here, the multipad comes with a RAM pen with a steel casing over it that just clips right up on there. So nice and easy. Again, the whole point is just to serve as a nice, convenient note-taking accessory 
for mounting virtually anywhere. And so just that quick on and off, very easy to use to take on, drop your notes down and pop it right back on the magnets there. This will work with any pen that does have any uh, ferromagnetic material, so like a steel casing around it. And so we do include that with the, with the multi-pad. So what I'm going to show you now are a few key applications where the RAM multipad really does come in handy and adds a lot of benefit to an application. Um, first one we're going to take a look at here is for transportation related uh, mounting scenarios. So it could be a car, truck, van, delivery vehicle, um, anything for transportation where there's just quick need for jotting down notes. Now phones and tablets do a great job of storing data like this and for note taking but you may be using your device for your GPS and or running a different app at the time, and you really just want to jot down a quick note, and that's what's great about having a notepad handy. So a couple key mounting points in a, in a car or truck or van. Uh, first one that we recommend here is the Ram Stubby cup holder base. This is a nice low profile weighted cup holder base that simply drops into the cup holder and you twist to tighten into place. And for this application, we would recommend using the longer double socket arm, so clamped right on here. And a link for this kit and all the other kits we're going to show are in the description, so any information I may not be covering in the live stream here, uh, we'll make sure is uh, in the links below, or you can post your questions and ask about them. But uh, for the cup holder, because we do recommend, we recommend the longer double socket arm because the cup holders are typically at a lower uh, profile, closer to the passenger's knees, and so it is nice to have that extra extension up here. And then... With our ball and socket technology, you simply place the notepad holder at the exact viewing and operating angle, tighten down with a single knob, and it's that simple. Now the entire system can drop in and out. If you want to use your cup holder for holding your beverage, you can take the whole system out and drop it back in uh, with ease. And then the other alternate lo uh, mounting location we would recommend would be for suction cup mounting on your windshield. And that's where this base comes in. Now this is a dual twist lock suction cup base. Many people out there might be familiar with our single suction cup where a ball just goes directly over our main twist lock suction. This simply has a plate that's adapting onto two suction cups. Now I was saying how the RAM multi-pad is recommended for B-size ball and socket mounting components. However, if you are taking into, into consideration the pressure of a pen on the surface and perhaps the weight of your wrist, we do want to reinforce the suction portion a little bit more and that's why we recommend the dual suction cup version of this. So simply having this locked up onto your windshield. Again, because many windshields are at a greater distance, you do, more, do you need more of that extension. And so then we do recommend the long double socket arm again here. Now this is where the diamond plate at the top of the multi-pad will come in handy because then popping it in in this position gives you a really long extension just like that. So this is really all that you need for mounting onto a windshield where the multi-pad can come down and rest cleanly on the dashboard. And so in most cases, I typically see people using the back hole pattern on here, but this would be the application where the two holes on the top here would make the most sense for offsetting the ball. So you can kind of get an idea of where the multi-pad is positioned when you're using this ball versus this ball attachment. So this is the one that we would recommend for uh, windshield use in a uh, car or truck. And so for transportation, it's great. Um, I believe I may be repeating myself here, but um, you know, if you're running multiple apps like GPS, uh, if you want just additional note taking for delivery drivers, maybe jotting down a new address or contact information, uh, notes regarding a delivery, uh, it's, great. it's just great having that uh, handy notepad around and you don't have to fumble around with the notepad floating loosely on your, on your passenger seat. The next one we're gonna take a look at is for material handling which is where we really put a lot of emphasis on our products because it's a rough environment and plus we're a manufacturer. And so we put a lot of our products to our own use and we use it for our own benefits in our facilities. So for forklift mounting, there are two key bases that I would recommend for holding a multi-pad. Uh, one would be a forklift clamp base. So most forklifts have vertical square posts on the corners. So typically either the front left or front right is a good mounting point for any device, including a notepad holder. And here we have the B size clamp base. This has a width of four inches, so it can go onto any forklift post with the maximum width of four inches. We do have this in different sizes, but uh, the four inch one is the one we recommend the most because even if your forklift post is more narrow, the four inch one will still work where you simply rotate the base 
and then the bolts will lock up flush with the post. So this is the most universal one. So guaranteed to, has more of a guarantee to fit uh, on your forklift. So you simply have this uh, clamped onto the post. And then for this, we would recommend a standard length double socket arm. And then just like the transportation ones we were looking at, it goes right onto your multi-pad just like that. Now material handling, it's great having a riding surface like this that's up high and out of the way. Um, facilities can sometimes get pretty dirty. Uh, you don't want things loose. They can fall on the ground. You don't want a dirty notepad. So having your writing surface and your writing materials in a nice clean position that's up high and high, uh, easily visible and still very accessible is a great benefit uh, in any warehouse application. And then the other forklift option, this is a relatively new base. One of my personal favorites is the Ram Tough Mag. So this is a very heavy duty, incredibly strong magnetic base. Uh, we refer to, there, we have this in a couple different sizes. Uh, we refer to this one as the Meg 66 version. This is a 66 millimeter diameter, has a rubberized coating around it, has six built-in really strong magnets. In fact, I have a bracket here. This is just a basic bracket, but you can imagine this being like the forklift post where this locks up incredibly strong. In fact, I have to kind of slide it off a certain way to get it off properly, but uh, once that's on there, it's locked on really strong. And so then you're just ball and socket components lock on just like that. So this is really great if you're looking for any alternative to the clamping option. What's great about the magnetic version is that you might want to position this from one side to another. Maybe you want to transfer from one forklift to another. Whereas the clamping option, it's somewhat semi-permanently affixed to the forklift post. Now you might, you might want multiple bases, multiple ball bases clamped onto different forklifts. So the magnetic option, when the whole kit is on there, you can just take the whole system off and put it right back onto another. Or maybe you can be transferring from a forklift to a non-forklift, so maybe like an overhead section of a workstation or perhaps other uh, material handling gear that can attach to. So that tough mag, there we go, that tough mag base, very handy um, for many different applications and it fits right in with all the convenient mounting options for the multi-pad. And with material handling, it's great having a writing surface like this for inventory management, uh, hot picking orders, uh, location tracking, location IDs, just having that quick reference there is great use for the multi-pad. A uh, third one that we're going to talk about here is for aviation. Now, this is a key one where uh, having a nice writing surface, uh, a notepad option, is great for pilots and cockpits, uh, specifically for maybe like private aviation and for Cessnas. Now the most common mounting base that we have for aviation uh, mostly Cessnas, but also alternate bases for Beechcraft, Bonanzas, throwover yokes, is our yoke base right here. So this basically has a vice clamp on the bottom. You just position this over the steering yoke bar that's behind the steering grips, and you just tighten down clockwise, and this will grip onto the bar. And then this, this intentionally has a 90 degree post that comes out from the side. And this makes it so that when you position your ball and socket components, it articulates your device, in this case the multi-pad, to be right in front of the steering grips. So what's really important for pilots and anyone in aviation is to have things readily accessible but also not blocking other things. So having your notepad in a nice low profile position uh, helps prevent any blocking of the gauges or controls that are on the control panel. Uh, many folks will use, uh, have, well, they'll, they'll have attachments on their knees, so like a tablet uh, strapped onto the knee or they'll have the, their notepad connected on the knee using a strap system, but you may want multiple accessories. Maybe you want a tablet and the notepad option. Um, and in that case, you could have one mounted in your yoke and then one possibly connected to the knee with the knee strap system or another mounting base we'll talk about in just a second here. But this is really great for pilots for a quick note taking of uh, flight logs, of the uh, air, air traffic control, of you know weather observations. Any quick notes they need to take is really important to be able to jot down those notes in a convenient location. And then the other alternate mounting base is what we call the RAM glare shield clamp. So the way this one works is you have two independent thumb screws that will tighten down onto the upper or side lip portion that overhangs over the control panel section of the Cessna. And so this clamps down. And then for this one, we actually recommend something nice and low profile in this application. So a short double socket arm, and then you put the multi-pad right on there. So imagine this being more above the control panel section. 
So again, many more options to choose from. These are kind of the most practical applications that you might find uh, a use for the multi-pad. But really just the fact that we have a whole range of different B-size interchangeable ball and socket components, you can truly mount these anywhere. Many different unique cases where this can come in handy. In fact, speaking of which, one other application that I'd love to show you guys is one that I personally use because you know we do videos and we have video equipment here. So there's a lot of camera and video related gear that our mounts actually serve really well. And the multi-pad fits right into this. So what I have right here is this is our Ram mounts tripod. If you search our website uh, for tripod, you'll see it come up. Basically, this is the full height that we come up on here where our tripods, they're pretty traditional with a quarter 20 stud, but then it can adapt to a 316 female thread. And so we're adapting by a 3816 thread adapter with the B size ball. You could also do C size, but then you clamp the double socket arm on here. And then I, use, I don't use the pen and I'm not using the slot here. I actually use this for holding cue cards and presentation notes. And this is where the clip portion of the multi-pad comes in handy. So just imagine your note with whatever large text. Uh, I tend to keep the camera kind of far away, and so I'll have the tripod kind of far in the back. So I'll have a full-size sheet with whatever large text with a, um, any cues or reminders that I may need to keep in mind. So the multi-pad works perfectly for that. The tripod can be kind of collapsed down, so it's not taking up that much space, but it puts it in a nice high position. Again, depending on where you may be doing videos, you might be filming from maybe a workstation or desk station, in which case you can use universal ball and socket mounting components to also put the multi-pad maybe in a up high position, something that could be more low profile, but it's great for just holding cue cards and presentation notes. It's come in handy many times. In fact, we continue to use it uh, fairly often. So that I think that about covers it for all the different features on here. Um, for anyone that's joining us in the replay, make sure that you leave your comments there as well. Um, well, I want to thank you guys for joining us. Again, I want to remind to you, make sure you hit the like button and, and subscribe. Make sure that you're notifi uh, notified for all the future videos that we put up because, again, we're going to cover a wide range of different product lines, including the multi-pad. We'll be talking about the handy case another time. And so you want to sign up and get notified for those so that we can answer all of your questions. And I want to thank you for joining us today with Ram Live, and we'll see you next time.